everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Crafts by KMW. I am super excited that you are watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. So today I went to a thrift store for the first time in probably three, four years. I'm not a big thrifter, not because I don't like deals, but just because I just don't think to go to them. So I was inspired by watching a video by Mira Byler, which I watched yesterday, and she went thrifting and showed some of her haul. She bought some decorative items for her home and then some crafting items or some art items that she could customize, and those were frames. And so I really loved what she did. She painted, um, an art piece for one of the frames. And then for the other one, she actually decorated the frame, painted it, and then put an art piece inside. Now, I'm not an artist. I do not paint. I do not draw. I usually put photographs in my frames, but sometimes I do alter them and change the look or add some embellishments on them. And I was so inspired by her video that I went to Goodwill today and I got $125 worth of stuff. So some of the things I bought were decorative items and for my house or household items. For example, I needed a set of mixing bowls and I found this great set of six metal mixing bowls for like $15, so I bought those. Um, but I wanted to show you the crafting or art items that I got, and I will talk about how I'm going to customize them or what I'm going to use them for. So hopefully you'll get some ideas, and if you're not a thrifter like me, um, I definitely recommend going at least once to one store and seeing what you can find because sometimes there can be treasures there that you don't realize that you're missing out on. So I'm going to flip the camera and get started with the video. Okay, so I am back. And the first item that I got was this cool adventure book. I've actually seen this in stores and the price is much higher than $3.99. So I was really excited to get this for $4. It's in pretty good shape. It has a nice thick cardboard cover and it ties with this cool rope, which I'll have to retie, but I will do that eventually. And then it just has these blank brown um, craft paper pages and there's a lot of them so there's a lot that can be done with this book so I'll probably use this as either a scrapbook or a journal and I am definitely going to customize the cover um, I don't need a our adventure book so I'll definitely cover at least up to here with either items um, or I'll print something or use a piece of paper, cover that, and then put some items on there. So when I do customize this, I'll make a video. Um, if you have any suggestions for me on what you think I should put on the cover, I would love to read them in the comments. So the next item that I got is this set of acrylic paints. Now, I believe that this is sold by Target because it does say <laughs> um, made with Mondolama at Target.com. I do not know the original full price of this, but this is obviously a brand new set. Um, doesn't even look like it was opened. And it has 24 colors. I am not a painter, as I've mentioned before. So I bought this because I really don't need a really good, expensive set of acrylics like Liquitex or some of the others out there because I just, I don't paint that much. 
Um, and the painting I do will probably be in my coloring books or maybe in my journals. So I feel like this will be a pretty good set for me. It has a nice range of colors, nice range of blues. So I think this will, will hopefully be a good set. If you are an artist or a painter, I probably wouldn't recommend this for you. But if you're like me, just a crafter, um, I think this would be a nice set. And it was $8, so I'm thinking it's probably about half the price of what they sell it at Target. So I thought that was pretty good. So now I'd have picture frames that I bought. So this bag, at my Goodwill, they have lots of bags put together of similar items and then they put a price on it. And they range anywhere from $3.99 to $7.99. And this one was $3.99 and it has five frames in it. So I'm just gonna pull this out. I love using these little picture frames because sometimes when you're decorating like a end table or even your fireplace or a shelf, you have little spaces left over that are open. And I love just sticking one of these little picture frames in that space. Um, my parents have passed on, my grandparents have passed on, most of my family members have passed on. So for me, having pictures around is really important. It helps me to remember those people, think about the good times. And um, it's just something that I really love to have around. So they're not the best quality. Um, a few of them are missing the glass. This one's missing the glass and this one. Although I don't think that's a big deal. I use frames without glass all the time. Um, I will probably definitely paint these two because I'm not a big gold person. Um, this one is a little damaged, so I probably have to re-glue it. Um, not, too fan, not too enthused with the color of this one, so I'll probably definitely paint this one. These two I actually like. Uh, my house is mostly red with other accent colors, so this these red wood frames will fit in really well. So I probably will leave them, but I may do some embellishments on the outside of the frame. So I like adding like little flowers or little other 3D elements just to accent the photo. So that's those little frames. Okay. All right, next I'll show you this one. It's gonna be kind of hard to show in the camera. Um, this is a really big, it's a standing, um, a standing, I think it's, I don't know if it's really meant to hold pictures. Um, let me see if I can turn the camera this way and that would make it a little easier for you to see. Okay, so it's pretty tall and it has this really nice filigree edge to it. It's metal and then it has a base so it stands up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the base. It looks like it was painted over or somebody tried to, or maybe someone removed some of the paint. Um, so I may do a color wash on it. I'm definitely gonna do a color wash on the filigree because I want it to stand out a little bit more. And then inside, I'm probably gonna put some paper in or paint it, maybe both and then add either one large photo or several smaller photos. And this can just stand um, on a shelf or on a table or whatever. So I thought this was a really good steal for $7.99. It actually still has the tag on it. So it's probably pretty new or the person just didn't take the tag off. My mother used to do that all the time, which drives me crazy. I always take the tags off um, as soon as I buy things. So this next one is this um, whitewash wood frame and it has a little clip here. I love these type of frames. So all you have to do is just clip your picture in. Um, this was $6. 
it does not have a um, thing to prop it up, but it does have a hook so it can be hung and I can probably just lean it against something. I'll probably put it on a table. I'm not sure if I'll hang it. So this comes off, it's just put on there with a brad. So I'm gonna be able to take this clip off and then change the paper inside. Pinks are not my color. So I'll probably um, put some um, other decorative paper down here that has my colors in it, reds and greens and, um, <clears throat> and blues. So this should be a fairly easy fix. I don't know if I'm going to embellish as well. I may. Depends on what photo I'm going to put inside. So I like that one. And then this one is just a very simple silver frame. Sorry, the glass, you can see my <laughs> chandelier and the glare, so I'll move that over for you. Um, I'm actually going to make a um, picture for my sister. I'm going to put a photo that she um, likes and print that and put that in here for her. So I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to this frame, I might leave it just as it is. It just needs to be cleaned up. But this was $3.99. I took the sticker off already. And it does have the back so she can display it on a table. So that will be a nice gift for her for not a lot of money. And then this one is the Pièce de Résistance. So I'm gonna turn the camera again this way so you can actually look at this oh there's finn hi finn okay time to get down now buddy come on oh he just loves to be where i am oh, get down okay sorry about that he's a little bit of a busy body um if you watched my um using my transparent texture paste video, he caused a lot of ruckus during the making of that video. Um, so you might wanna check that out if you like to see and hear about crazy cats. But anyway, so this is, I'm sorry about the glare from the chandelier, but this was $3.99, I couldn't believe it. This frame probably weighs four to five pounds, no lie. It's not that super big, but it's wood and it has multiple layers on it. So you can see there's kind of a base frame and then another frame added on top. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a lot to customize this frame. I like green, but this is not the shade of green that I have in my house. I usually have the um, darker greens. So, and I don't know, even know if I'm going to keep it green. I might do red and then I will probably whitewash this part in here. And then I will definitely paint the gold, probably silver could be another color. Not sure. Maybe even white. I have to figure out what picture I'm going to put inside. So once I decide on that, I can decide on how I'm going to customize this frame. But I will probably do this one um, on video because I think this one's gonna be a labor intensive but really fun makeover to do. And it, the back is in really good shape, um, has the stand and everything. So I could not believe that I got this frame for $4. So I was really excited. So that's the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you and that you will maybe give thrifting a try. If you don't, let me know in the comments if you are a thrifter and what kinds of things you thrift for. What are some of your favorite or best finds? Um, if you're not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe and like the video, of course. And I also have an Instagram account. You can follow me on Instagram to see photos. And I, po I usually post my videos on there too. And then you can also join my Facebook group. 
where we, again, talk about crafting, coloring, journaling, pretty much anything. I post freebies on there and um, crafting ideas. I will often ask questions to get people engaged in responding and just sharing ideas. So please consider joining my Instagram and Facebook as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very crafty and thrifty day.